Hey guys, Dusty here. It's Wednesday, so that means it's time to break down this morning's track session once again. Before I get into that though, I'll give you all a little training update as to how my training's been going over the last week. So I was finally, for the first time in 2021, able to hit 100K run week last week, and I was actually able to pull it off quite easily. Um, so, so far this year, I've been really struggling with shin splints when my volume has approached 100K. And last week I was able to get through it relatively pain-free. Um, today I can kind of feel shin splints coming back, but I'll just have to be a little bit more diligent about my foam rolling and probably staying off pavement for the rest of the week. But last week was great. Um, most of it was easy running with the exception of some 400s on the track on Wednesday. And then on Friday, I took my new uh, Vaporfly Next% Percent Twos out for a half marathon in about 117. Otherwise, the rest of the volume was easy. Um, I actually even got in a little bit of a bike ride. And then if we move along to this week, uh, Monday, I was totally exhausted. I could have slept in till noon that day had I had the chance. And I think that's just all the accumulated stress from all the extra running that I've been doing lately. Obviously when training bumps up, your sleeping should bump up too for recovery and that hasn't been the case for me. So I'll be trying to get to bed a little bit earlier from here on out. So today at the track we had a nice little group of us. Uh, almost all of us though were on a down week or a recovery week, myself included. So while we still put in some quality efforts today, um, this was by no means a high priority kind of A plus workout. All of us today, had we not been in a recovery week, we all would have been capable of running much faster times. Uh, but with that being said, the track isn't always about going as fast as you can every single time. So today's session was a 15K run, and I did a main set of five by 2K at the track. So I did the first four intervals with a couple of other athletes. Um, our first interval we went through in 725. Our next interval we went through in 729. Our third interval we went through in 734. And up until this point, it was all really easy and comfy for us. We're just kind of all running together in a tight group of three, just putting the work in. Um, and then one of the athletes switched into his new pair of Vaporfly Next% Percent Twos. So then obviously the fourth interval was a little bit faster. Um, we went through in 6.53. And then the fifth and final interval of 2K, I wanted to do that one by myself and see what I could do. By this point, I had also switched into my new pair of uh, Vaporflies. And I was hoping to come through in about 5.50 to 5.55. Um, and during the interval, I still put out a fantastic effort. Um, I just felt a little bit flat though. Uh, I still came through in 6.10. So I held 3.05 per kilometer for that final 2K. So fun little session. Uh, most of us didn't really push it until the fourth and fifth intervals. And this workout in particular, I'm actually going to make a high priority workout or kind of an A plus workout for myself leading into my next half marathon. So over the course of the next few months, I'd love to be able to build this session into the same workout, so five by 2K, um, but I'd like all of my splits to be at six minutes or faster with, I would love to be able to do this and have a rest interval of three minutes in between, three minutes standing rest in between each of the 2Ks. And if I can actually complete that workout, then I'll know I'm ready to run a new PB in the half marathon. So anyways, that's what I've been up to. My very first event, virtual event of 2021 is in three weeks and that'll be a mile on the track. After the final 2K interval today, I'm pretty certain uh, when I'm fresh and tapered and ready to go for that mile that my time will be 4.30 or maybe even slightly faster. But anyways, I'm not gonna worry about that for a few weeks. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.